if you are type 1 diabetic then probably some of the insulin that you have to take might actually make you put on a bit of weight so you have to be careful you have to eat right and exercise because you have no other option but to take insulin all right uh, if you are type 2 diabetic 80% of the reason is only because you are overweight or obese so it's a preventive thing i have enough and more people who walk into my clinic say my mother father is obese uh, my mother father is type 2 diabetic so i doctor i'm going to be type 2 diabetic they don't seem to realize that they were not type 2 diabetic when they were born they were type 2 diabetic at the age, after the age of 40 or 45 and their waistline started bulging and they would rather blame their parents than themselves if they are going to exercise they are going to work out tr trust me 80% or more of type 2 diabetics can be prevented just by watching their weight and uh, by exercising both my parents are type 2 diabetic that's why i'm so insanely try to uh, monitor my waistline because i'm not type 2 diabetic today and i hopefully won't be if i man manage to maintain my weight once you're morbidly obese uh that your bmi is above 37.5 the guidelines say that if your bmi is above 37.5 and you tried other options of trying to lose weight and not manage to sustain weight loss or you've lost and the yo yo has you put on again then maybe you should consider surgery if you're diabetic then things change because type 2 diabetes uh, actually is a killer so if your bmi is above 32.5 when you're type 2 diabetic then there is a Uh, earlier chance that you might recommend surgery today all the world guidelines in terms of ADA the American Diabetes Association the International Diabetes Federation all recommend that if you're morbidly obese uh, and your diabetes is not getting controlled you should consider metabolic surgery or bariatric surgery whichever way they call it a patient should know understand that bariatric surgery alone is not going to give them miraculous results all right bariatric surgery along with a lifestyle change will give very very good dramatic results what bariatric surgery actually does is it resets your set point so why you tend to regain weight and put on all the weight back in yo yo fashion when you're morbidly obese is because you have a set point and whenever you try to drop it down it's like a spring you put on pull put pressure on it as long as you manage to maintain that pressure it stays moment you, you leave the pressure it recoils and you always go higher than where you started off with so it does not reset the set point bariatric surgery is the only thing that resets that set point so it gives you a chance at reliving life the set so invariably you hear a lot of patients who've had bariatric surgery regaining a lot of weight because they just believe that the first two years when they've lost weight is the honeymoon period when and you've lost weight despite doing most of the wrong things they believe that's the way of life that's not correct and that's why it's very important to follow up with your bariatric surgeon or practice and they will tell you that the best way is to now get into better uh, healthy eating patterns into exercising so that, that you you can let the results of bariatric surgery work for itself